Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad P14 Gen 1. And in this video I'm going to go and cover up step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heat sink and repaste your laptop. You should be doing your own servicing once every 12 months, 8 months, depending how often you use the laptop and the condition of the environment that you are using. And if it's too dusty, the fan can get really clogged up and it, it can overheat and it can shut down or it can lower the, its own speed and clock speed. So you should do your own servicing. By doing servicing, you're not going to change any configuration or anything like that. It's just pretty much doing a oil change for your car, which is uh, healthy to do. All right. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and everything that I use. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can purchase yours. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to make sure you have a clean place to work on. And you want to flip it upside down. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a, a workshop towel. These workshop towels are one of the best towels to do your own servicing. Because as soon as you put alcohol and you try to clean the electronics, it will rip apart before it damaging the component. Unlike the microfiber towels, stuff like that, these are one of the best. Also, you need a 99% alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. A good thermal paste is very important. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can go overboard with Thermal Grizzly, which are one of the best brands. If you can, you have the budget for it, go with Thermal Grizzly. These are one of the best. And with that set, the main one is a good screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to use the Apex screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Right. Also, a curved tweezers are really handy to have. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. So first thing first, you want to power off, you want to flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All these screws are the same size and height, but these screws will not come out entirely. There is a C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So all you need to do is just rotate the screw until you just feel like it's loosened up. Once it's loosened up, just a few more rotations for the heck of it. And once you did that, you want to do the same thing for the rest of the screws, including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like this video, if you find it helpful and helping you guys out to do your own service, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right. Now that we removed all, I mean, loosen up all the screws, what you want to do, you want to bring the laptop, open up a little bit, and you want to stick the opening tool in between the bottom cover and the palm rest right in here. And you want to just rotate, just work it around, do this, and you want to hear that click gaps opening right in there. There we go. Those clicks are okay, that's fine, that's what you want to hear, those click sounds. Once you got the front opened, now you want to go to the one side right here. Here I see that if I put attention, if it's going to focus, if I put attention here, I can crack the cover here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the opening tool right in here. I'm just going to open it, push it up like that, tiny. And do the grill side. And go out to the back corner. And there we have it. Now do the other side. On this side, same thing here. You want to put it right in there. And look, it just came out pretty easy. Now we're going to close it down. and. You are going to grab the bottom cover, bring it up, and you can take it outside. Oh, another very important tool is a toothbrush. Use a toothbrush to clean this dust mesh from here, blow some air through it, and that should be done for the bottom grill. And down here we can see the battery, the fan system, and the whole heat sink. Some of them, they do come with a GPU, and they will be installed right in here. This is a no GPU version, so it's only CPU. But before we do anything in here, we're going to disconnect the battery. There are two ways of disconnecting the battery, by pulling this one, which is the safest one, or inside the BIOS, you can disable the battery. But I highly recommend you to pull this connector backward. That's the best way to disconnect it. 
Once the once the battery is disconnected, we're gonna first remove the connector for the fan. We're not gonna pull on this cable. This is a fragile cable. So what you wanna do? You wanna put the tweezers on the side of the jack and gently push it back, and it will disconnect the uh, connector. Next, what you wanna do? You wanna remove one screw, two, three, four. Four screws on the CPU and one screw right on the bridge right in here in the middle. So go ahead and remove these screws. Again, the screws have a little C-lock on them, so you just have to loose them up. Once they are loosened up, do the last one right in here. Now, you don't want to grab it from here. You want to grab it closer to the heat sink, to the CPU, and bring it up like this. And right away, we can see the bottom side. Now I see that this crystal die does not have any heat and uh, thermal paste on top and there's enough space to put on top but they didn't put anything. This chip is a PCS chip and it should be doing a contact with the heatsink. So we're gonna put a thermal paste on this one too. This is a CPU die and the PCS chip. So we're gonna clean it up. So grab a little bit of alcohol, grab a little bit of this one. Now wipe, swipe over the CPU. And remove the big chunk, flip it inside out. Do a few passes, nicely clean it up. And remove the excess of the, um, be careful, don't bend. This is really, really slim and tiny, so make sure you don't stress it out. Just grab it gently from the bottom portion right here and clean it up. Now, if you want to open up the fan and clean up the fan nicely, you want to switch to a Phillips double zero. And in here, there's one, two, three, four screws that you can remove. These are tiny, tiny screws. So remove these four tiny screws. All right, once you remove these four tiny screws, there's a gaffer tape in here. I'm sure that gaffer tape is not allowing it to separate. So we're going to remove this gaffer tape wherever we see one, right in here, right in here. So remove those gaffer tape and there's one right in here. You don't really need the gaffer tape, but you can purchase a gaffer tape and put a little bit of gaffer tape on top if you want to. There we go. So the fan should come out. Okay. There's a gaffer tape everywhere. But again, you don't need to do this one. You can just blow some air through here and use a toothbrush to clean it up. I just want to see if we can open it up completely and if it's worth it. So you don't have to do it. I'm gonna use a little cutter to cut through here. Now once we loosen up that side, cut this gaffer tape right through here. Do this stuff. So I gotta remove this sponge thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this sponge to not destroy it. There we go and cut it right through here too. So this fan has to come out from here and the adhesive from here, there's a temperature sensor cable from here. Be careful on this side. You wanna lift it up and it's soldered on here to make stuff worse. So if I wanna remove it, I have to desolder this cable. Otherwise I won't be able to pull this bottom side away from here. So, but I do get enough space here to clean it up. So there's enough space to use a toothpick and clean it up nicely. Unless you want to desolder, use a solder station and desolder this cable through here and you can remove the whole fan. So that's kind of annoying. I could move this cable out of the way a little bit, but that's as much as I can get access to the bottom.
Alright. So let's put it back on. So I see too much hassle to desolder and go just clean it up the way you can from the top portion here and blow air through here. And that should be more than fine. So now you guys see this as if you wanted to remove it, you have to desolder and then you need a solder station and that's another whole thing. But again, it's not necessary as long as you clean it with a toothbrush and blow some air and make sure the fan is spinning nicely. So we're gonna put the screws right on top. So now we're gonna repaste. So you're gonna grab ourselves a thermal paste. We're gonna put one line on the main die and one drop on a PS PCH chip, just like that. And then what you want to do, you want to bring it down, set it down. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. Leave it like that and tighten up the screws. You always want to cross the screw them, do cross the screw. So that way the thermal paste spreads evenly across the CPU. I'll put this screw on this side. And don't forget to putting up the fan. You slide in the fan connector inside the jack and double check, make sure everything is in place. Also, if you want to grab a gaffer step, you can put a gaffer step right over here, but the airflow is nicely open inside, so there is no reason to put it up. Once you're done with this, all you want to do, you want to grab the connector, bring it down evenly in front of the jack, and then pinch it right in there. Okay, double check everything is fine. Grab the bottom cover, put it straight right on top. Push the back, the side, make sure you hear those nice click sound. I always like to put the screws on the back corners. First thing before I open up the lid. And then you wanna bring it in this position and you wanna pinch the bottom covers together. Like that, and you want to hit those nice big clicks to the sides. And the last thing would be to just tighten up the rest of the screws. Again, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out to do your own service for your Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 1. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.